Hello, this is Gracie from Gracie Ellie Design for Thermoweb, and today I'll show you how to create fun backgrounds for your fall crafts using Rebecca Meyer's designs line for Thermoweb. And so, first, I'm using one of my favorite pro products from the line, and that is the Mixed Media Art Tape. And I'm starting out by just uh, tearing a bunch of pieces, and now I'm going to uh, try to fix them in place using pieces of purple tape because the art tape is tends to warp when you start adding media to it and so the purple tape is great for this purpose and now i'm going to be able to add uh, layer after layer without the tape rolling or warping and so i'm just starting to spray some inks and these are ink sprays i'm just uh, spraying different colors and i'm trying to stick to colors that go well with the fall theme and so now I'm going to be stamping uh, branches in different colors using Distress, Distress Oxide inks. And this stamp is uh, from Rebecca Meyer's line for the Art Foamies products. And so it's really fun and I'm able to keep uh, adding different generation stamping using the same, um, the same stamp. And that also helps me layer and add depth to the entire look of the art tape. And in the end, you'll see how all the layers we're adding right now go so well with the final layer of foiled stenciling. One thing you need to know about this tape that makes it so awesome is that it is actually canvas with an adhesive backing. And so that's why it holds so much media so well. It's not paper, it's actually canvas. And I love that it comes in a roll. I, I love the versatility that you can actually use the pieces on its own, on their own, or, or over, overlap different layers. It's just so much fun, and I really, really love to use uh, the tape for backgrounds. That's basically my go-to technique with the art tape. And now I'm going to be adding the mixed media medium. And this is another uh, favorite of mine from the line because it works just as the deco foil transfer gel, only this one doesn't require heat. And so, yeah, it's awesome. It's an awesome alternative if you don't want to use the laminator. And so I'm using Rebecca Meyer design stencils for the crafters workshop here. I'm using different designs, all of them, uh, um, really go well together like I can mix and match those designs and they all look very nice together but I love the fact that this uh, mixed media medium uh, when you apply it goes on white then you'll see how it dries clear and when it's clear it's ready for you to transfer the foil and so once this is clear it'll be tacky so you won't be needing a laminator you don't need any heat to apply your foil so I'm going to be using here uh, mixed media transfer foils in three different colors, also from Rebecca's line. And so what I like to do is just apply the foil very unevenly, randomly, just mixing and matching. And so this time I'm using the colors New Penny, and then I'll be using also uh, Patina and also Vintage Team. Those three colors, I'm trying to layer them randomly. And as you can see, I even wrinkled one of the foil sheets so I could uh, be able to apply just, you know, spots here and there. And in the end, you can go, uh, go come back with uh, one sheet to finish applying all of the foil and cover the entire surface or the stenciled areas. And so now that uh, the layers are dry, I'm going to set those to the side and I'm gonna work on the image that I'm gonna use for my cards. And this is a digital stamp from a kit called Obsessively Grateful. It's available in digital in my Etsy shop and also as a rubber stamp kit at Unity. And I'm just spraying it with ink sprays, trying to make it coordinate with the background.
I'm gonna set that to the side to dry and while it's drying I'm going to start working now on my actual card front and as you can see this art tape is really easy to use because you just have to peel up the backing and it's a, uh, it will attach directly onto your card base you don't need to do any layering or add additional uh, adhesive to it and so uh, the fun part too is that although it's very sticky uh, and it will stay there wherever you put it uh, it will allow you to reposition it uh, while you're still uh, making up your mind on where you want to put it so it's okay if you have to um, start repositioning it won't tear it's really really sturdy and I love again um, how it works it's so easy and so versatile so great for mixed media projects and for crafts in general and so now I'm just cutting uh, any excess from the edge of my card make sure to keep those little pieces don't throw those away because those could work for a project too And so now I'm going to uh, be fussy cutting this leaf. I didn't want to use uh, too many elements on my card because I think the backgrounds are so pretty on their own. And so I'm just using this one image and a small uh, word sentiment, uh, a sentiment sticker, and that's about it. And um, I am going to, to be adding some shading uh, to this leaf too, using some Arteza markers that just gives it um, a little more depth and it will actually go very well with the colors on the background. So something like this, when you don't have too much time to create, um, you can put together uh, a background using art, art tape that you've worked on previously and just add one single image that you just color very quickly and your card is done. And so now I'm going to be attaching the leaf with 3D dots. I love these dots. I think these are my favorite from the entire line because they add dimension and they are completely clear. And so uh, these are very nice also for uh, mixed media surfaces uh, because they will attach no matter what you add it to your background. And so these are great for this card. And now I'm going to add a very simple a sentiment word sticker and that's about it and so here's my card for today i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe to thermoweb.com slash blog for all your file projects thanks so much for watching until next time